He absent-mindedly let his eyes drift away from the crackling black and white recording, his thoughts wandering back to a time when his parents were young, with their whole lives ahead of them. They had been so happy. Taking a thoughtful sip of his drink, he glanced back at the screen, and then he saw it. His heart skipped a beat as he swallowed hard, nearly choking. It had been there the entire time, right in front of him. Joe and Beverly met in high school and quickly became inseparable. Joe was head over heels for Beverly and knew he wanted to spend the rest of his life with her. A year later, he proposed and his heart soared when she said yes. They were just 19 at the time, full of dreams and possibilities. Shortly after, Joe made a decision that would unknowingly shake their relationship for years to come. Its impact was only fully understood decades later. Their wedding was an extravagant traditional affair, captured on video, but soon forgotten amidst the excitement of their new life together. The young couple, brimming with excitement, eagerly planned to move to New York and start a family. However, that forgotten wedding video, a relic of their early love, would reappear 60 years later, stirring memories and unveiling truths they never saw coming. Beverly and Joe were blissfully unaware of the dark events unfolding on the other side of the world, completely oblivious to the part they were destined to play. Like many young, carefree couples, they lived in a bubble, untouched by the troubles beyond their own lives. But as reports began to trickle into the local news, they couldn't foresee the inevitable that was slowly closing in on them. They should have been ready. Joe and Beverly were wrapped up in the cocoon of new love, and then the fateful news arrived. The war in Korea had come to a head, and Joe, without any warning, was drafted for service in the U.S. military. The news was a terrible blow to both of them, and they had to put their dreams on hold while Joe prepared to serve his country. Then they made a decision that would be scrutinized 60 years later. Joe was devastated and he and Beverly began selling off their possessions one by one. Among these was one of their most cherished items, representing their love and the brief time they had spent so happily together. They used the money, foreseeing hard times ahead. Beverly would struggle in Joe's absence, and they needed a safety net until he returned, if he returned. Joe made his reluctant journey to Korea, placing an entire ocean between himself and everything he loved. He felt emotionally desolate, and his whole being grew heavy with sadness. Within his first week, his previous life seemed far away, a distant memory, as he fought for his country, fought through tears, and fought for his life. Joe kept in touch with Beverly as best he could, writing her letters every single day. He couldn't help but wonder what would become of them and their love, and the future certainly looked bleak. The war continued to rage in Korea, and he felt like a man living on borrowed time. He was weary and heartbroken, but the thought of his wife back home kept him going. Joel carefully contemplated the object in his parents' wedding video. Replaying its smooth lines in his mind, this object had brought both pleasure and pain to Joe and Beverly. His brow furrowed in thought. Then suddenly, he hardened with resolve and rose from his chair. He knew he had to take matters into his own hands. The video of Joe and Beverly's wedding had been dredged up as a delightful surprise by one of their guests. Beverly remembered how she had felt all those years ago, uncertain if her love would return from the war. Thankfully he had, and they were now celebrating their 60th anniversary, but their son Joel had noticed the magnificent Fire Apple Red 1948 Plymouth convertible in the battered old wedding video, and had a revelation of his own. This car, Joel realized, was a symbol of his parents' love. They had to sell it when Joe was called to the army, but Joel was on a mission. He relentlessly scurred the internet for a 1948 Plymouth convertible, and his search bore fruit when he found one. It was owned by an 80-year-old man and had surprisingly low mileage. But there was one glaring problem. The Plymouth convertible Joel had his heart set on was one of only a handful available, and it was located far away in Indiana. To complicate things, the owner was wary of technology and couldn't send Joel any pictures of the car. But Joel, determined to get the perfect gift for his parents, wasn't discouraged. He quickly arranged for a friend to fly over and inspect the car in person. It turned out to be in excellent condition, so without hesitation, Joel made the purchase and set about making minor restorations. He wanted everything to be flawless when he surprised his parents. In the end, their reaction made all the effort and expense worth it. 
Joel had it delivered right to their doorstep, and when Joe and Beverly saw the gleaming car, the exact make and model they had sacrificed so many years ago, Joe was overcome with emotion, weeping tears of gratitude. The gift was more than just a car, it symbolized the enduring spirit of their marriage and the deep love they still shared after 60 years. Joel's thoughtful gesture completely overwhelmed his parents. Fittingly, their heartfelt reaction was captured on video, and since then, the touching moment has garnered over a million views on YouTube. The Smiths plan to keep this Plymouth in the family for generations. Joe and Beverly are often spotted cruising around town in their stunning red convertible, a car that never fails to draw attention. To most, it's just a gleaming piece of machinery, but what people don't see is the enduring love between Joe and Beverly, a bond forged through years of hardship and sacrifice. Their journey has shaped them into the people they are today, steadfast in a love that has withstood the test of time and will never fade. What are your thoughts on this story? I'd love to hear your opinions, so please share them in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories. Stay tuned for our upcoming content. See you in the next video.